And I've always wanted to play football all over me. We grew up always coming down here to the games, playing well, during tailgates, playing football, then going to the games. We always wore the jerseys, the diehard kids that were football fans. Uh, I started out just doing club wrestling, uh, just to do something to stay active. And I actually got talked into cheerleading my, my sophomore year and had a fun time doing that, but I uh, knew the whole time I was doing it that that's not really what I, my dream was. Kind of found out about the walk-on process and decided that that was something I wanted to do. I've been an Auburn fan since I was tiny. So yeah, I came down, I didn't get an offer here, so I just you know chose to walk on and earn my way up. My brother got here um, starting the 2013 season. When he decided to come here, I just fell in love with it. And then when I got the opportunity to come here as a walk-on, I, I just knew this was what I wanted to do. I had a couple D, D2 schools in, in uh, Arkansas. They were small. And uh, I really thought that I could go somewhere bigger. And I wanted to take that opportunity. I mean, my family sat down together. and. My parents both said, you know, we're, we're financially stable, thankfully, and uh, you, can, you can go there if you have the opportunity. And so once that happened, I got really excited. And I texted my family. I said, looks like I'm going to be a Tiger. I didn't want to go to Division II, Division three. I always thought big for myself. Um, coming here, it was, uh, I mean, it's a dream come true to play at any of a Division I program. But when I was at a young age, I remember my mom got me a beanie, an Auburn beanie, and I've always been kind of a fan. The life of a walk-on is challenging. Each has their own reasons for walking on, but they are united by a passion for the game and a love for Auburn. Being a walk-on is a different deal. Unless you're one of them, one to walk with, you don't understand. You can't. Some of the guys have to take out loans. The parents have to take out loans. Some of them work. All right? So it's a real special deal. I don't know. It's definitely tough, but I mean, I love the game, and I, I just I made a lot of really good friends, and, you know, they make it worth it. It is so tough to be a walk-on. Um, you're asked to do the same things. I mean, it's uh, day in and day out. It's the same grind. And you know, it's to prove yourself as a walk-on, you have to you know, do a little bit more than the guy who's already on scholarship. It's special for anybody to come to Auburn and play football at SEC school and just the atmosphere we have. But being around it and being on the other side at one point, being in the stands and growing up, it's just a dream come true that you're able to sit there out there on that field after you've been watching for so many years, cheering on Die Hard, being a Die Hard fan, and now you're able to play and live out your dream of being an Auburn football player on the field. At the conclusion of fall camp, Gus Malzahn awarded scholarships to six walk-ons. That's something I dreamed for forever. You know, I never, never really thought when I came in, you know, walk-on kicker. You don't, really, you know, they always told me I would be behind Daniel, and so I really never expected, you know, getting a scholarship. I just really wanted to be on the team. Because, uh, you know, it's awesome being on this team. Something in me was just really excited. I, I almost wanted to cry, but I had to hold it together. And, uh, you know, went down there and accepted it. And it was just a really dream come true. It was real special. I, it was really heartwarming because, you know, before I could even stand up, I had guys jumping on top of me and stuff. Guys, like, that my head and things. So, you know, a lot of tears fell that night. And it just smiles every day. Wow, it, it's, a, it's a blessing. And there's no doubt about it. I don't take it for granted. I, uh, I'm thankful that for Coach Malzahn and his, his coaching staff for um, rewarding me for another scholarship. Um, truly, it's, it's, it's a dream come true. It really is. It was awesome. I think, I mean, even more special than him calling my name was the reaction from the teammates. They just, everyone just stood up and just went nuts. And it was just like, it was just awesome to feel that the love from your teammates that not only the coaches think you deserve it, but your teammates were just as excited for you. Mom was pretty excited. I mean, my mom and dad were both excited. My mom even did the whole high pitch. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I was really happy. I, I, uh, it's been something I've been working for for years, and it's always been a gold mine ever since I got here. And just to have it finally happen it was just, you know, a really big experience for me. I didn't want one of them to be like, oh, you called them first. So I sent a group text to all of them, like, at the same exact time, so they didn't, like, you know, think I called one before the other. but. My brother called me like right when the text went through, like two seconds and uh, after it sent, and he was just really excited for me. It's, it's a blessing, completely unexpected, but it changes a, a lot for me. Um, I was working a job as well as doing football and engineering, so that gives me a little chance for some free time for once instead, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Hey, Mom. Hey, buddy. Uh, I got some news for you. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's pretty good. Uh, I won't have to work this uh, this fall, at least not 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 near as hard. Uh, 
Um, they uh, they gave me a scholarship tonight. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you. They were they were ecstatic. I don't. I think they were about as shocked as I was, honestly, because um, that wasn't anything we were planning for. Um, I was planning on finishing up senior year and uh, looking for jobs and all that. And now I've got a chance to the, the scholarship covers a full year, so I, I get a chance to either work towards a master's or a minor. Um, it, it changes a lot of direction for me, so we were ecstatic. Hey, Rob. Well, yeah, they, they gave me one. Funny story, my dad drove overnight and was waiting in the parking lot for me when I got back. You know, gave me a hug, said congratulations, said he was proud of me, then drove back home. Um, I tried to call my mom, my sister picked the phone up. I told her, she started crying. Woke my mom up, my mom didn't have a chance to wake up first, she started crying. So, I got a bunch of crying and a bunch of congratulations that night. So I feel like now, you know, it's just a matter of getting out there on the field and getting it done.